sausage party. Sausage, Make it sausage, sausage waffles. <laughs> I take some sausage and I put it in a waffle. <laughs> Doesn't work as well as nope. bacon pancakes, <laughs> man. Right. That was beautiful, John. time panel at San Diego Comic-Con. How are you guys doing? Give it up for the Adventure Time House Band. They were just playing Man Loret Party from When Wedding Bells Thaw. Thank you guys, that was amazing. I am your humble moderator, Ashley Birch, and I am, thank you, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys. We're here to celebrate 10 seasons of Adventure Time. It's an amazing show, dear to all of our hearts. We've got uh, lots of special surprises for you guys. We've got more music, obviously, because it'd be funny to bring this band on for one song and then not have any more music. So we've got more music for you. Uh, lots of special guests and memories to share. So um, speaking of guests, please help me to introduce our first three guests. Adam Muto, our showrunner. Jeremy Shada, voice of Finn. And John DiMaggio, voice of Jake. <laughs> This is me. This is, this is me. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> what time is it? Adventure time. Sweet. Welcome to the stage, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's all we had for John. Sorry, guys. How's it going, guys? It's fantastic. Yeah? It's great. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Happy to be here. Um, so, this is pretty crazy. You guys just got an Emmy nomination. Yeah. So, congrats on that for uh, Ring of Fire, right? Yes. That's nice. correct. We've won Emmys, too, by the way. We have yeah. won Emmys. Yeah, we have. Yes. Twice. Yeah. Two-time Emmy winners. Two-time yeah. Emmy winners. Woo! And Peabody winners, too. Oh, yeah. Why are, you, why are you bragging? Pe 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 I don't know why I'm bragging. All of a sudden, it became a bragging show. Let us have this, Adam. We need it. Um, I've got coupons for Shake Shack. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you guys about Adventure Time. Uh, surprise, surprise. So this show, at kind of its core, I mean, it's about a, a boy and his best friend, a boy and his dog. Um, but it became so much more than that, and it's resonated with so many people. And I was wondering what... What do you think it is about Adventure Time that has sort of, uh, yeah, made it resonate, made it such a cultural phenomenon? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, f f uh, people love cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. No, let me get into it. Hold on a minute. I'm, it's, it's, it's morning, He's okay? He's Give building. me a break. We're waking up. He's building to it. I'm waking up. No, honestly. People love cartoons. They're, they're, you know, from 192. You know, there's, 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 there's some kind of cartoon programming for everyone. And this show appeals to so many different generations of people um, that I think that's what it, it's got something for everyone. Yeah. And I, I just think that that really rings true with our show. Um, it has like just an awesome blend of like just amazing comedy mixed with real just deep character moments yeah. and I think we do such a good job in our show of really balancing those two things and getting kind of the full spectrum of emotions that you want when you're watching a show and having them feel like real characters. Yeah, Adam Adam had mentioned earlier about, you know, just these you know, these these characters being real, you yeah. know, these having and going through real emotions mm -hmm. that you don't normally see, you know, in a cartoon. So that that was something that was special too, I think. Yeah, and the relationship between Finn and Jake, I think, mm -hmm. has stayed yeah. Yeah, it's boy not, and his dog. That's cynical. a gimme. There's, That's a gimme. Yeah. The boy, no, no, no. boy and his dog. I mean, they're still like friendly, and they don't seem to hate each other. And that was a thing that cartoon characters at the time, at least, felt like that was that was pretty common. Like it was mm -hmm. very cynical and very sarcastic. And mm -hmm. Finn and Jake kind of kept this genuine friendship. And that was important to Penn, right? He he didn't want yeah he hated to ever fight. he hated characters yelling at each other. So <laughs> that didn't happen a lot. And the result is that Adventure Time feels very there's you know there's like 
sort of a lovely, cohesive element to all of the characters in the yeah. cast. I hope awesome. so, yes. <laughs> I <Hopefully>. think so. <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy and John, you've now played these characters for 10 seasons. Yeah. It's a long time. Jeremy, how old were you when you first started playing? Uh, I was 12. Holy I was, cow. Uh, yay hi, youngin. <laughs> I uh, I, I've seen him grow up. That's Quite pretty insane. Yeah. That's right. You guys have heard me grow up. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, also. yes. The pitch go deeper and deeper. <laughs> yes, um, deeper and deeper. So what are you guys going to miss the most about playing these characters? I think for me it's always like just the, the week to week in the booth, um, being in and, and working on the show with the, with the cast and with the, with the crew that we got to work with on a weekly basis. That's like just the most fun part is just being in it. And you know you get to know these people so well over the years, uh, and it is like a little show family. And so that's that's what, I think that's what you always miss the most is just that because that's the most fun part of the whole process for the, sure. The camaraderie. Yeah. The the day of the week that you're that everybody is there. Mm -hmm. You know, it becomes this set thing that you do. Tuesday afternoon for it, like you know, nine yeah, years. Yeah, for nine years it was Tuesday <laughs> afternoons, and um, I, I mean I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna miss how much I. I, I, I uh, be, Jake became a part of me, mm. and 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 I became a part of Jake. You know, I'm gonna miss playing that character because it dawned on me after we finished the show, like the last recording, like I I was driving home and I all of a sudden burst into tears, just mm. like oh man, it just it just shocked me that I I realized how how connected I was emotionally to. Jake and I called my wife like, I'm not gonna be able to play him anymore. <laughs> like ugly crying, driving. <laughs> like bad man, you gotta pull over, Jack. An ugly cry. What's wrong with that dude? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, he, and he farts in pockets and everything. I, <laughs> ah. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss that. The farting, farting in the pockets. Farting in pockets. Farting yeah. in the pockets. Yeah. You yeah. have a real emotional connection to farting That's in pockets. It, you know. Just, <laughs> um, so, speaking of the booth and uh, the connection in the booth, are there any particular moments in the booth that you remember funny moments that you'd like to share with the audience? <laughs> the Finn baby really know. wants yeah. to hear him. Yeah. Finn yeah. baby really wants to hear him. I want to know when you guys messed up. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, uh, there's a lot. I think this one doesn't even really involve me necessarily. But my favorite is definitely one where we had the Lou Ferrigno. Oh, man. <laughs> that was, yeah. That was, that was our, rough. Our director was trying to tell, and he played Billy, you know? Billy! Billy! Yeah. And, and our director was trying to get him to sing, and it's like, bro, like, he can't, <laughs> he, he, he can't sing. And he didn't even, he was just going, no, nah, dude, sing it like, you know, Billy! Like a rock, and, and Lou's just like, Lou is game. And Lou was just like, Billy! And it was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and, then, and then our director kept going, no, 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 no. More like, Billy! <laughs> Billy! <laughs> no, no, no. I got to give it to Lou, man. That's hardcore. He put himself on the spot. And he was wrong. But it was right. But it was right. We, we learned the a lesson. same time. We learned a lesson from that episode, which yeah. is adapt the part if you cast a certain person. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And if John DiMaggio is looking at you through the glass like this, <laughs> then maybe, yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got him on that take. I think, I think, we, I think got we got it. it. I think we got it. I think we did. I think we're good. I think we, we did. We can work with that. <laughs> That's less funny than embarrassing for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of singing, we have this band. This yeah, give it up band. for the band, give huh? The band. <laughs> we don't have a name for them. We don't have a name for the band? I was thinking of calling them Gunter and the Boys. I but like that. Gun Gun Gunter and the Boys? But, but we have Gunter and the Guntettes, but we have a multiple gendered band, so Gunter yeah. and the Boys doesn't really work. Um, but we're going to force you to sing, is what I'm saying. So, uh, <laughs> oh, right, yeah. We're doing uh, that. So Jeremy, uh, I think I, uh, I think the the crowd would riot if we didn't get a little bit of punchy of buns out of you. Would oh, you, you guys, mind you guys know that song? Buns? Like that song? Do it for you. All right. <clears throat> is this this is one by myself? I think. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't even need, Acapella. Yeah. He doesn't even need the band. I got this. We're, we're you don't good. even need the band. I'm a buff baby 
they can dance like a man. I can shake a my fanny, I can shake a my can. I'm a tough tootin baby, I can punch all your buns. Punch all your buns, I can punch all your buns. If y'all an evil witch, I will punch you for fun. Give it up for that. Thank you. <laughs> Very serious singer, obviously. I've heard you sing that many times. I think that was the best time right there. <laughs> what was this move, Jeremy? Is this to help you I don't get even know what this is. <laughs> I've caught myself doing that over the years. I don't think it does anything, but for some reason it makes me feel... I it makes you feel better. That's great. Yeah, it makes you feel like I have some control. I don't yeah. even know. <laughs> You're like, is this, a, is, this, is this treble right here? Is that, is that what that is? What is this? I don't know, but I don't know. That was beautiful. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Uh, and John, uh, I'm going to loop you in on this one as well. <coughs> oh, boy. This isn't really a duet, but you both sing uh, this song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, another classic. All gummed up inside, slash, all warmed up inside. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, thank you, Gunter and the boys. This is going to be so good. They're going to sign that. <laughs> Band's getting prepped. Get ready. Is the anticipation killing you? <laughs> Get ready for feelings. Pushing this down any deeper Why do I keep trying if I can't keep her? Every move that I make is just another mistake I wonder what it would take Because it feels like there's a hole inside my body And there's a hole inside my heart It's like this feeling is gonna consume me If I keep waiting for this thing to start Oh, I feel like I'm all gummed up inside it's like I'm all gummed up inside It's like I'm all gummed up inside Wow, I got through it! Oh, I didn't know how that was gonna go. We did it, guys! We did it! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Old flame princess I think you're rad I really want to kiss you Right in front of your dad Cause I think you're great I want to be your mate Maybe go on a date Because it's, there's a fire inside my body Like there's a fire inside my heart It's like this fire is gonna consume me If I keep waiting for this thing to start Oh, I'm here all warmed up inside I feel all warmed up inside. A round of applause. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Sweating up here. Beautiful. I moved. Thank you. I had an experience. That went off better than I thought it yeah. would. Yeah. Woo. That was amazing. Yeah. You guys play cool. Act like you sing these songs all the time. Yeah. That, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. No. It's, I'm, nah. -uh. <laughs> That's how good he is. Just You're gonna off be his singing own. songs today. I am. <laughs> okay. And there's more where that came from. But before we get to more music, I wanted to bring out uh, two of Adventure Time's leading ladies. Are you guys ready? First, uh, Finn's best blood-sucking friend, <laughs> Olivia Olson, who plays Marceline, the Vampire Queen. Finn's first crush, the voice of Princess Bubblegum, Hendon Walsh. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. So, Olivia, <laughs> you are uh, a fan favorite. Marceline is a fan favorite, obviously. <laughs> we have a lot of Marceline fans here. Why do you think that people are so drawn to Marceline? Because she has problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it's just because she, she's really relatable, even though she's a demon vampire, which I guess isn't relatable. But a lot of Marceline's storyline really opened up a door in Adventure Time that dove into these characters' past and really, really deeply dove. And so I think that people were just excited for animation to kind of go that route. Mm -hmm. So she started it. <laughs> You're gonna hear first. Well, the writers started it. But <laughs> Do you have any favorite Marcy moments that you'd like to share? I just I loved being able to play father daughter with my dad. Um, that was a really fun record, yeah. and 
something that not everybody can say that they can do. So. Yeah, yeah I feel like very few people can say that. Oh, is he in the audience? No, I see my friend though. Hey. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Olivia's friend? What up, what up, what up? <laughs> so, Hinden, you said in an interview once that you are Princess Bubblegum. Well, I did. Apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it's fact now. Okay. You, can you make up an answer for why that's the case if you didn't actually say it? Well, how do you relate to Princess Bubblegum? Well, I mean, all the parts I play, I, I mean, maybe it's true for you guys too, but they're part of us. Yeah. And the more we do them, the more they become part of us in a bigger and bigger way. Um, you know, so even the villains, even the bad guys, it's like, no, that was me when I was 14 years old. And <laughs> My mom wouldn't let me go out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and I went out anyway. But that's another story. So, <laughs> um, I, I, PB and I, she's very organized. She doesn't mess around with, you know, she handles things. Um, she's. The weird part was they wrote in, bless you, that um, That's she, adorable. Speaks, she speaks German. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? And uh, ich spreche Deutsch. Ich habe, ich habe Deutsch an der Universität studiert. Und, and so it was, it was just, that was a weird coincidence. Meant to be. <laughs> Meant to be. <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember why she spoke German. Uh. <laughs> that, Adam? I don't remember that context either. I mean, I wrote the episode, and I was, like, surprised that you spoke German. <laughs> See? Oh, you didn't know going in that you did? No. No. I'm psychic. <laughs> psychic. It was a yeah. psychic moment. So, obviously, Adam, Finn has had complicated relationships with both of these women. Ah, uh, uh, poor guy. <laughs> can't catch a break. Because um, he's grown a lot over the course of the, of the show, so how do you feel like their relationships have evolved as Finn grew? And, I mean, they're both extremely old characters hanging out with a young boy. But um, how did that, how did that um, yes. Dig deeper, did, dig deeper. Uh, it's like Twilight, but somehow less weird. So. No, no. Uh, I think all four characters kind of became more of a peer group. Uh, at the beginning, yeah. Princess Bubblegum was more of a quest giver, and she was the authority figure, and Marceline was a rascal, and, and she was there as a foil. But I think as time went by, they kind of became more on the same level, and Finn can kind of uh, talk back to Princess Bubblegum and, and call her out if she seems like she's being too authoritarian. So I, I feel <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, Princess! <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He really is right sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's the finale right there. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah. So, so it, did, it did grow, which was nice, because Finn did start as kind of just a very straightforward, uh, you know, he didn't question very much. He just had one way, just straight through, mm -hmm. punch through the door, just the, the most direct <laughs> route. And I think over time he's punch kind of... Punch first, ask questions later. Yeah, and I think it's, it's become more, more nuanced, their whole relationship to each other, as they've learned more about each other. It's also cool to see that Finn had a crush on PB at the very beginning, and then their relationship grew into just sort of platonic friendship, like an equal friendship. I think that's a cool thing to see yeah. in a cartoon, especially. You, you really that. get to see him grow up and go through that, <clears throat> go through the adolescence and the, te the teenage phase and stuff too, because everybody has those, those people that they like, you know, start out as having like crushes on, and then they just become really, really good friends mm -hmm. over the years. And so I think it's really cool to see that in a very long form uh, yeah. play out. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Oh, but he tried. Oh, he tried. <laughs> Yeah, we can't he tried, he got rejected. Yeah, I love that line where you're saying to a suitor of PBs, you're like, my friend, that is a road that leads nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so really good. good luck, good buddy. <laughs> exactly. So speaking of friends, we have a song for Jeremy and Olivia, I believe. Oh, do we? Yes, my best friends in the Let's world. See how this one goes. If I remember. <laughs> That Hinden might guest on if she <laughs> if, if she remembers the words. Yes. <laughs> so are we starting at the what am I to you part? Because on the rehearsal track, that's where we started. But the full line is here, so. Oh. Just, uh, yeah. 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 I'm yes. leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I started. Okay, perfect. Then we're. we're <laughs> All right. Let me know. <laughs> well, we uh, really that was John DiMaggio, one. everyone. <laughs> uh, oh. And here we go. Oh, you. That's what he does in the episode. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> so meta, so meta. <laughs> what am I to you? Am I a joke, your knight or your brother? What am I to you? Do you look down on me cause I'm younger? Do you like, think that I don't understand? Yeah. I just wanted us together and to play as a band last night was the most fun I've ever had. Even liked it when the two of you would get mad at each other. Sing a 
song to you when I refuse to make it vague. What am I to you? Am I a joke? You're not your brother. brother. What am I to you? Do you look down on me because I'm younger? Do you think that I don't understand? I just wanted us together in the place of bed. I'll forget that I lost a your piece of your hair. I'll remember the pasta that we shared over there. in the world you are my best friends in the world that's right I'm talking about the two of you girls and you Jake I'm gonna sing a song to you and I refuse to make it fake make no mistake I'm gonna sing a song that feels so real it'll make this no I was here the whole time. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, shout out to the band. Yeah, you guys. Good are lord, keep it together over here. Thank you. You're a rock. Just slay in the game. Truly, truly. So I have more fun people to invite to the stage. You guys ready? Woo! Also. Oh. Unfortunately, the Comic Con overlords, whoever they may be scheduled this panel at the same time as a Voltron panel, so I have to go do that one. So I had to split myself. I tried cloning myself, but the technology is just not there yet. So I have to, sadly. Yeah. You gotta go form a robot, yeah, dude. Yeah, I gotta go form <laughs> some robots here. So I wanna say, I love you freaking all, you best fans in the whole wide world. Thank you guys for making this show the best. Thanks for being here, Jeremy. Get out of here. We're gonna have a plushy Finn in his place. So it'll be like he never left. And then John can puppeteer it. I love you, get out of here. And hopefully not saying I'm leaving you with nothing though. <laughs> Bye, Jer. <laughs> I love you, thanks guys. We actually took Jeremy's soul out and it's in that Finn now. So he's trapped there forever. Um, so, uh, in, uh, thank you for being here, Jeremy, and I'm going to now introduce Nikki Yang, the voice of BMO, yeah. and the voice of Ice King, Tom Kenny. I didn't know if you introduced me or not. Oh, I did. <laughs> I didn't want to steal Bemo's thunder. How are you? Oh, hey. Thank God that kid is gone. <laughs> I said, don't bring me out until Shade is gone. <laughs> that kid's a jerk. <laughs> oh, man. Nice How to see you? you guys. Nice to see you. Thanks Hello. for being here. So Nikki and Tom, you know, you're, you're well, you became a, a later addition to the friend group, I guess, uh, for yeah, the guys. Kinda, yeah, roommate, uh, bad roommate, roommate turned yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah. But what, were you, what are BMO and I, I, the Ice King, uh, what are your favorite little shenanigans that you got into with Finn and Jake? What are your favorite memories of the show, moments that you had with those characters, Nikki and Tom? Oh, man. Well, you know, uh, w when the Ice King moved in with them, I thought that was funny because it was like, I love when you take like these characters in this like super exotic crazy land and just do like dumb banal sitcom <laughs> crap with them you know what I mean <laughs> you know you left the toilet seat up ice king wow what can I say you know? <laughs> that's the stuff that really makes me laugh about this show because the characters are, are are deep but they're all you know you can do really banal stuff and it kind of still matters because that's what life is you know <laughs> what about you Nikki uh, I love uh, Bimo being there, like as a, sometimes like little baby. So um, they're taking care of me. Like I think there is an episode like <laughs> Bimo like kind of hurt herself, and then she said, "Oh, please kiss me on my face and stuff <laughs> like that." So that, that's cool. But I think Bimo is really like a fun to be around like, as a like living being. Sometimes like a foot, uh, she's talking with the football, and when uh, Finn and Jake wasn't there and. <laughs> Just, there's a, so many different sides of a BMO, so it's just discovering little by little. It's really fun. That's <laughs> did awesome. I, did I answer your question? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. No, yeah. 
I always dug the BMO Noir episodes, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, those, those are amazing. Great, great. Yeah. 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 That was a challenge. <laughs> yeah. So Adam, sort of a unique thing about Adventure Time is that it spawned creators of so many amazing Cartoon Network shows. I think we actually have a fun, do we have a fun little graphic to show that? Oh. So all these amazing Asian. shows, all these amazing creators have come from Adventure Time. I wonder if you want to talk a little bit about um, just all the people that have worked on the crew and, and the shows that they've made. And like that individually. Feels. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One at a time. We just got really lucky, I think, because uh, Penn went after people who seemed like they had a really strong personal vision. So a lot of them would have made shows anyways, I'm pretty sure. We just kind of tried to steal some of their energy while they were on their ascent. <laughs> like vampires. <laughs> uh, so you suck their souls out, you put them in adventure time, and then... Uh, but no, that's, I mean, and also the show kind of accommodates so many different tones and styles that I think it was easy to bring in people who were like, had vastly different visions because that was what the show was. So. Yeah. I think it's a testament to the show that so many amazing people worked on it and gone on to make amazing things. It was sort of a reading ground for a lot of people, so there's something really special about that, I think. Yes. So... Are they hiring? <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get those people's phone numbers. Yeah. If any of you are here, <laughs> Adam might need a job, the show's over. Uh, speaking of that, The Ultimate Adventure yes. is coming out. So that's the series, it's so weird to say that, series finale of Adventure Time, The Ultimate Adventure. Adam, can you tell us a little bit about that? Nothing spoiler, obviously, but any little tidbits that you can give us? The, the finale, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> can you tell can us anything about the final out? episodes? Uh, it's anything? everything you want. Except for the people who don't want the things that we wanted, so. <laughs> I don't know, endings are really hard. I feel like, especially now, like when a show ends, there's so much pressure and so much expectation, mm -hmm. and it has to be so many things that, you know, you can kind of go crazy just trying to incorporate all that. So I, I feel like we found an ending that is satisfying without trying to answer every single question. But, yeah. but yes, exactly. But, <laughs> yeah. I can't but, tell if that baby was into that answer yeah. or thought it, it was. Yes. No, sometimes, I mean, everybody feels like... <laughs> I have the actual release date of The Ultimate Adventure, and it is September 3rd, Labor Day, at 6. 9-3! So put that on your calendars. I've never, I've never yeah, prompted a drum roll before. That was wild. September 3rd! September 3rd is the Whoa. premiere of The Ultimate Adventure. So, mark your calendars, get hyped. I'm really excited I got to talk about that. All right, now with all that done, let's get back to the music, eh? All right, great. Nikki, we've got a song from you, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, where are we this, at? This one from, like, season one or two. This is a deep cut. Shall we? Yes, let's. We shall. Queen, where are you? I miss the Rumpy Princess say like, oh my god, <laughs> in the beginning, like she say, I miss well, that. <laughs> like you said, that was season one, right? Yes, yeah, season one. Yeah, so wow. it's like, people don't realize that like, it, the songs were always kind of by necessity having to be jammed in in the last 10 minutes of a four hour session. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh guys, we gotta do three songs, you know? Uh, uh, did you get the MP3s on your emails last night? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, so then you sing them and then you kind of dump that file, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And now here we are, like all these years later, and we have to actually remember stuff. Man, this, <laughs> Tom practices this every, he sings these every day, and he's just being humble. And actually, you're up with Olivia. Oh, yeah, You've no. got a song. All right. Cool. Speaking of remembering all right. things. Speaking of remembering right. You ready, band? You ready? Hey, lady, guitar, piano, pick one. Get off the fence, okay? Come on. <laughs> He's been, he's been waiting to tell that joke for 45 minutes. 
<laughs> 40, <laughs> 45. <laughs> hey, okay, John, look at this. John, I'm going to look at the girl with the purple hair and I'm going to say this. Stop stalling, Tom. You have to sing too. Uh, <laughs> and that's the guitar rag. <laughs> Uh, luckily, luckily uh, Olivia's kicking this one off, so it's going to be pretty for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, if you'll take us away. Oh, Ice King. <laughs> Marceline, is it just you and me in the wreckage of the world? That must be so confusing for a little girl And I know you're going to need me here with you But I'm losing myself and I'm afraid you're gonna lose me too I wrote that hot stuff! <laughs> the magic keeps me alive But it's making me crazy And I'm gonna save you But who's gonna save you? Wait for it. <laughs> Marceline, I can feel myself slipping away. I can't remember what it made me say. But I remember that I saw you frown. It wasn't me, it was the crown. Magic keeps, keeps me alive, alive but, but it's, it's making, making me crazy. crazy. And I'm made to save you, but who's, who's gonna, gonna save me? Please, Please forgive me, me for whatever I do when, when I don't, I don't remember, remember you. you. into QA in a second here, but before that, we've got some songs, and I'm just going to have you guys run right into them. Uh, <laughs> the first one is Olivia with I'm Just Your Problem. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Can I stand for this? Oh, dude. Yes. Oh, this will be like the door lord door that I'll walk across. <laughs> you shall. Just your problem. La da 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 da. I'm gonna bury you in the ground. La da 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 da. I'm gonna bury you with my sound. Gonna drink the red from your pretty pink face. Face. Sorry, I don't treat you like a goddess. Is that? what you want me to do sorry I don't treat you like you're perfect like all your little loyal subjects do sorry I'm not made of sugar am I not sweet enough for you is that why you always avoid me must be such an inconvenience to you well I'm just your problem I'm just your problem it's like I'm not even a person, am I? I'm just your problem. Well, I shouldn't have to justify what I do. And I shouldn't have to prove anything to you. I'm sorry that I exist. I forget what landed me on your blacklist. Well, I. 
I shouldn't have to be the one that makes up with you. So why do I want to? Why do I want to, to bury you in the ground and drink the blood from your face? I'm gonna bury you in the ground. La da 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 da. I'm gonna bury you with my sound. That was beautiful, princess. <laughs> no problem there, baby. That was her first time singing that ever. <laughs> Uh, Olivia, you're up again. Oh! I'll it's just it. the Olivia show for a little bit. Get up! <laughs> Get up! No, I'll, I'll Would you give us some Fry down. song? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> butter, butter, butter. Daddy, why did you eat my fries? I bought them, and they were mine. But you ate them. Yeah, you ate my fries and I cried, but you didn't see me cry. Daddy, do you even love me? Well, I wish you'd show it, cause I wouldn't know it. What kind of daddy eats his daughter's fries and doesn't even look her in the eyes? Daddy, there were tears there. If you saw them, would you even care? Why did you gunt my fries? <laughs> you gunted them and they <laughs> That's the better version. <laughs> Where's your wig though? <laughs> and staying with the food theme, bacon pancakes, John? Are you yeah! up for it? <laughs> I know the words to this one. <laughs> Take us right? to brunch. Take us <laughs> to brunch, DiMaggio. Like looking at it like, okay, I got it. <laughs> Ready? Go ahead. You guys ready? Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. I take some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Making pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. I take some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Making pancake, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes. Sing along, come on. Take some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Bacon pancake, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancake. Okay, wrap it in. Are you guys having a good time or what? We're gonna sing this last one together, okay? Here we go. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. I take some bacon. I'm so glad that song isn't called Making Sausage Waffles. <laughs> yeah. Because that would have been bad. <laughs> sausage party. Sausage, Making sausage, sausage party. waffles. <laughs> I take some sausage and I put it in a waffle. <laughs> Doesn't work as well as nope. bacon pancakes, man. Right. That was beautiful, John. Thank People you. always ask me, do you make bacon pancakes? I'm like, 
uh, do I want diabetes? <laughs> no. So, no, there's no bacon in the pancakes. Not even once? Not just a try? No, not even once. I'm not, mm -mm. <laughs> That's too much. And then they get all mad, right, John? I thought I knew you, yeah. man! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who you're, are you? You're no Jake the dog. <laughs> <laughs> So, lovely Adventure Time audience. <laughs> if, you, if you have any questions for this fine panel of folk, please assemble at a... Uh, oh, this mic over there. Oh, it was illuminated. Look at that. Wow. Hey, Ashley, can I say while I'm sitting here? Over here, Ashley. Me, Hinden, over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's Hello. looking out there. Where's like, the child that's speaking to me? <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> Who is... <laughs> Ashley, can I say something to the group? Um, I just want to say I miss these guys so much. Like, seriously, the yeah. most wonderful group of actors, and, you yeah. know, ever. To, and we had so much fun and for, yeah. doing this show for all this time. Yes. And, um, yes. And the finale is amazing. Yeah, and thanks, Adam, to you and Penn and yeah. everybody that and, gave us and, and great Ken stuff Osborne, to say and everybody. great stories to be You guys. Out. Awesome. For sure. Thank you. And Nikki. And then you guys, uh, without you guys, like, we don't really, like, exist. Like, thank you very much, loving and su support all the shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you, guys. Oh, You're amazing fans. Other shows ain't like that. <laughs> okay, let's get our first question. Hello. Oh, I'm on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, thank you guys so much for coming year after year after year and being here at Comic-Con. It's really kind of amazing. So um, my question was, obviously you can't really talk about, about the final episode, but what I wanted to know is, based on when you started working on the show, did it end the way that you kind of were expecting it to, or was, you know, I know it was a long time between start and end, but... You, you never, I mean, somebody knows, but it wasn't me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the, the, you know, somebody has, a, has an idea for the, for the end. I mean, when you come up with the beginning of a show, like the show, you, you have to have that out in your mind. So I'm sure that they had these outs, but n none of those were, were ever told to us, you know. So we were kind of left in the dark, which is fine. You know, that's totally cool, but... I think the... Uh the show evolved so much that from the first season, I would have never imagined that we touched on as much as we did. So yeah. um, how it grew, I am happy with the way that, that the ending turned out. But from the beginning, I would have never thought it would go that route. Yeah, every storyboard was a surprise to read, you know? You never, yeah. I never knew where any of the shows were going. Yeah. Not just the no, finale. Like, <laughs> we, 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 like, yeah. Oh, all right. But yeah. that's the magic of the Land of Vue, because it's yep. so broad, and there's so many things going on within it. So true. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite part of making the show? Um. <laughs> the, the <laughs> Listening to him mess around in the booth <laughs> and, and, like, not work. <laughs> I think making the show was like the funnest part. I mean, it seems like it shouldn't have existed. So every part of it was unlikely. So while we were making it, I was like, geez, I can't believe they're still letting us make this. So <laughs> that went on for years. So that <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your question. Yeah, I gotta say, like, like just the, the recording sessions were, were great and looking at, you know, the storyboards, uh, you know, just reading the board before the, you know, just seeing where it was going. But just when you think about the years long experience of it of going in on Tuesdays and and doing those sessions like it was it was just you know it was really just about the personalities and the people as well as the stories but also watching Jeremy who was a little kid yeah. when we started I mean I mean you really do have this uh, uh, familial feeling like like paternal feeling about him you know yeah. and so we were able to watch Jeremy you know, get more and more mature. Well, well, John and I got less and less mature. <laughs> yes. it, it's like Jeremy Shader was stealing our maturity. Yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. Like a succubus. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> What's your question? Hey, Shorty. My, what was your favorite cartoon or show when you were little? Oh, that's a great Aww. question. Oh. Thank Are you. Are you looking for Pokemon right now? <laughs> 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 or am I? <laughs> that kid just got my shirt. Yeah. Oh. oh. See, 
Wow. These, come up here, young lady. Come here. See, this shirt, right? This is my own personal shirt. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't wear this shirt anymore. So I brought it, and Did everybody you signed wash it. it? Of course. <laughs> this is for you. It's got all of our signatures on it. It's XL, so you can you can wear it pajamas. pajamas. <laughs> so, but, she... but 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 listen, my favorite cartoon growing up was the Super Friends. Was, did you ever see the Super Friends? Super Friends. It was it was uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Robin, um, Aquaman. <laughs> And Aquaman had this thing where he would control animals in the, in the ocean, and it was, bloom, 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 bloom. these circles would come out of his head, and he controlled like, he, you know, he'd be like, "No, you're not gonna get away with that because I've got a whale." Bloom, 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 bloom. It was very silly, but that was my favorite cartoon. I love that you came up so prepared. You're, I like you. What's your name? Lucia. Lucia. Everybody, give it up for Lucia right Thank here. You. Lucia. Thanks. You go ahead. You go ahead. Go sit. You go ahead. Love what it. were your favorite cartoons? Santa Lucia. <laughs> that was your that's favorite cartoon? 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 Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite sure. cartoon? Yeah. I'll start with me. Oh, easy. Holy Trinity. Uh, Max Fleischer, Popeye. Uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. Oh, good one. There you go. I Inform my whole life, like oh, forever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, ever know this. I have uh, this accent. <laughs> and then, um, so I, I grew up in different countries. Uh, I came from Korea. And then I, uh, my favorite cartoon was Miyazaki's uh, Future Boy Conan. It's kind of, yeah, yes. <laughs> and then it's kind of similar with Finn. There is a, a main character named Conan. And then it's adventure. And then she tried, uh, he tried to save the girl's name, Nina. And so it's very similar with the Finn's character, but that was my favorite character. I mean, cartoon. <laughs> I like Scooby-Doo. I liked the old Betty Boop cartoons a lot and uh, Looney Tunes. <laughs> so unfortunately, we only have time for one more question. Uh, so what other show would you want to do a crossover with? I got lucky because uh, there was a little short scene in Futurama with, with Bender right. and with Jake. You know, Jake says, what time is it? And Bender says, it's time for you to shut up. <laughs> so I kind of got my wish. I'm good. I, 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 I spoke to myself in the scene. So voices in my head are paying off. So we actually have one more special guest that we wanted to bring up. Um, please welcome to the stage, Rebecca Sugar. <laughs> She bought, she bought a preemie guitar. <laughs> You've got a couple of songs for us, yeah, Rebecca? Yeah. Um, so e even after I left Adventure Time, <laughs> I, I never really wanted to leave, and I came back to do a song for Olivia, because I love writing songs for Olivia. Uh, so I want to play this song. It's called Everything Stays. Yeah. I'll start it and then throw it to you. <laughs> Olivia wrote new lyrics and I love them, so I'll do mine, but then Olivia will the do extended her version. The extended version. Oh. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in the garden. You'll find something waiting right there where you left it lying upside down when you finally find it you'll see how it's faded the underside is lighter when you turn it around everything stays right where you left it everything stays but it still changes ever so slightly daily and nightly in little ways when everything stays go down to the ocean the crystal tide is raising the water's gotten higher 
as the shore washes out Keep your eyes wide open Even when the sun is blazing The moon controls the tide It could cause you to drown Everything stays right where you left it Everything stays But it still changes Ever so slightly Daily and nightly In little ways when everything stays ever so slightly daily and nightly in little ways when everything stays thank you <laughs> Oh, God. Um, so because I can't stay away, I actually wrote one last song for the last episode, and I would love to play it here. Please do. Um, this song is called Time Adventure, and it's dedicated to Adam Muto. <laughs> an illusion that helps things make sense so we're always living in the present tense it seems unforgiving when a good thing ends but you and I will always be back then you and I will always be back then you and I will always be back then you and I will always be back then, be back then. Be back then. singing Will happen, happening happened. Will happen, happening happened. And will happen again and again. Cause you and I will always be back then. If there was some amazing force outside of time to take us back to where we were. And hang each moment up like pictures on the wall inside a billion tiny frames so that we could see it all, all, all. It would look like will happen, happening happened. Will happen, happening happened. And will happen again and again. Cause you and I will always be back then. Cause you and I will always be back then Cause you and I will always be back then That's why you and I will always be best friends until the end. Uh -huh. Wow. So that's fine. <laughs> now, the words I'm concentrating on from that song are be back. Because I, I don't think Venture Time's over. I'm, I'm clinging to hope. Everything comes back at some point. Am I right? It'll come back. It'll come back. If we have more songs like that, I don't exactly. think I can take it. Yeah. It's, well, it's we only, good, we have one more. Awesome. We have one more, but it's... Uh... Can I just say something really quick? Yes. Rebecca, that... Yeah. That song is... is... <sighs> 
I'm all right. It's yeah. just that that song is, it's yeah. just, it's one of the most beautiful songs ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Period. I, I, yeah. and, it's, and it's so in tune with the characters in this show. And uh, I mean, this is what happened when I tried to record that song and I couldn't, get, I, it took me about 45 minutes, to, like to an hour to even get through it once. I couldn't. But it's just beautiful, and yeah. I, I'm just so honored to know you, and so happy for your success, and so like, <laughs> Steven Universe, like, come on, you deserve it, you deserve it, you deserve it, you deserve it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can probably guess what the last song is. <laughs> yes. Olivia, I think you're going to start us off, uh, if, if you can. <laughs> uh, we don't have tissues. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Band, you know, whenever you're ready. A, just a happy kid song, you know, about how all time happens at once, and so all the people you've loved and lost, you never really lose them. <laughs> oh. Who's ready? <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Check it off. We're all gonna make it. <laughs> all right, band, take us away, please. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends. We're going to a very distant land. But Jake the dog and Finn the human, the fun will never end. It's adventure time. Can you guys join me? Okay. Yeah. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends. We're going to Mary Disneyland. Land. But Jake the dog and family human, and the mom will never end. It's adventure time. Can you hear us? One more time with everybody. Everybody. Yeah, we got it. Thank you so much.